hello this is this was going to be part two um but i'm going to make another video after this one this is going to be like a short filler so this is more like sort of video part 1b um i suppose it is video two there's just going to be th there's going to be a third part basically basically there's going to be a third part so uh, what I'm going to do in this video is quickly explain what MVVM is because um, the next object that's going to be taste, tested, tasted, no, not tasted, tested, is going to be um, it's going to be very specific to MVVM. So it's not going to make any sense why I'm writing tests for an object unless I explain what that object's all about. So all this I'm going to do in this is no coding. I'm just going to bring up Diagram Tool MS Paint. Uh, so we hopefully I'll try and do this quite quickly. Uh, so what we've got is um, a view, and that's the um, little window that I've created with the. That's going to be a text box. That's a button, and that's the result text box. In fact, let me just bring that up just to show it. It's this thing. I've tied it up a bit. Okay, and also got over here on the left hand side is the calculator class, which is the model. Now it's got a single method, a calculate method. Uh, the question is how to wire up the view to the model. Um, simplest way would be to just I don't know, create an event handler for the button click event. And all that handler would do is pull the text value out of the input text box, pass it to the calculate method of the model of the calculator class get the result back and push it into the result text box and that's fine um, but it doesn't work well with writing a test for this little bit of logic and this little bit of logic is small but it needs tested testing problem with writing a, a test for this which of course should be written first um, is that um, this little bit of logic is uh, strongly coupled to the view it's actually directly referencing these text boxes so if you want to test this little bit you the test needs to instantiate a view in order to um, in order to drive this um, so that's a problem so what's the solution the solution is to create a third object a sort of middle object between these two um, and then put a little bit of logic in there and instead of going off to the text box text boxes directly create uh, string properties so call this string property input call this string property output and then this little bit of logic will pull the value from this uh, one and um, get the result back from the calculator and push the result here okay so now that's all testable effectively that little bit of handling logic is now testable great and the whole that's the whole point of doing this is now testable and this this little thing, this little um, object, is called the view model, and that is MVVM. And the re main reason for MVVM is precisely because um, you want to effectively abstract the state from the view so that you can isolate it for testing. It also isolates it for maintenance and development as well. I mean, there's no, there's no uh, real dependency. Um, on from the view model to the view so it means um, the person developing the view model doesn't have to be um, you know messing about and defecting things that affect whoever's developing the view and whatever um, so the question is then how do these thingies get wired up and in WPF um, that was just data binding so the text box will be directly bound to a property of this object effectively this view this for you knows all about the view model uh, this view is actually uh, kind of connect is uh, references the view model. This view references the view model. Therefore, its controls in it are able to bind to properties of that view model. So this text box will bind to this one, this one, to this one. Um, and this um, button will be bound to, effectively be bound to a method. Um, that's what we'll go through to. Uh, so what will happen here is when um, the user enters text in this text box it will automatically push their value entered into the setter of this property so it will automatically be synchronized um, similarly when this property gets changed um, it will effectively push the value out to this text box so it will be synchronized and you might notice there's a bit of an oddness there it's, uh, well, hang on a sec. In order to push the value out to the text box, those, doesn't the view model need to know about the text box still? 
And um, the cool thing that's been done here is it's kind of like an observer pattern. So what actually happens is that the view model, um, the view model has a implements a property changed event. And what happens when a property changes, when a property's value changes, is it actually just um, raises that event. Um, and then anything can subscribe to that event, um, so, um, including the view does. By um, connecting to the view, by referencing the view model, the view will also um, subscribe to the property changed event, which means when, the prop when a property changes, the view will receive a notification that property has changed. Then the view can go and pull the value from this property getter. So no, the view um, effectively is going and pulling the information. The view model is not pushing the information, which means the view model doesn't need to know anything. It doesn't need. To, in fact, there doesn't need to be a view there. Um, when you've got the te when you're um, driving this from a test, there doesn't need to be a view connected. The view model has no dependency. The view model has no dependency on a view. Um, in fact, the test can be the one subscribing to that event so that it can test that these notifications are being raised. So all of this part is completely isolated from the view and can be tested separately. And that effectively is what I'm going to do in the next video, is create the test for this model. I just wanted to explain all this because it's not going to be obvious why I'm creating an, an object with properties called input, output and separate uh, thingy here. Um, I'll just show you quick. I'll, what I'll do this video. I will do one little little um, thing. Is um, I will actually f do final changes to the view. Uh, this is the um, data binding. Um, what I'm going to do is um, in the XAML, um, there's a text property of the input text box here. If I enter a literal value like A B C D E F G then you can see that that text field will be populated with that. But what to, in order to bind to a property of the view model, you just type in like binding input. Uh, that's it, now it's bound. I've still got to actually um, reference the view model object, uh, basically uh, create a reference to the view model object from um, the view, but I can't do that because the view model object hasn't been created yet. But this is fine because uh, when this runs, the binding will fail, but it fails um, silently. So it's possible to develop the UI. Uh, for example, this is the result text block, and I'll set its bind its text to a property called result. Um, it's fine to de develop the um, the UI separately from the uh, view model. And this button has a command property, and I'm going to bind that to a calculate com calculate command calculate command property of the uh, view model. And so next video, I'll be creating the view model with uh, these properties. Well, first creating a test for it, and then uh, running through that. Um, so thanks for watching.